Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can design this type of image card where if we hover on the card, we can see this type of transition. And also if we click on this button, we can see more informations. And also we can collapse this back. And when we leave the mouse from the card, we can see that it's get back to the original state. So let's see how we can do this in our Figma. We will take a frame and set the height and width to 560 pixels. Thereafter, we will change the background of this frame to black. From there, I will change to zero, which is denote to black color. Thereafter, we will take another frame where we put our image card and we will set the height to 460 and width to 340 pixels. We will also add a color to make it visible. Now we will adjust it to the center. Thereafter we will make it rounded by 20 pixels. Now we will add our image to show in the image card. So I have pasted this image and I will drag into the center and put this image into the frame from left hand side. Now the image is in the inner frame and we will adjust it to the center. So our image card is being ready but the next thing we have to set up is our overlay informations. For that we will create another frame to the bottom. We will set the width to 360. Thereafter we will set this to auto layout using shift A. And make the width to fixed width. Thereafter we will adjust the color of this frame. So I will be using the gradient to make it look better. So for that we will set the bottom color to 0 and also the top color to be 0 and adjust the opacity of top color to be 0. Thereafter we will add our content. First we will select the name for that we will input the text using T. Then we will adjust the text size to 32 pixels and font width to semi bold. After that, we will duplicate this and set the flow to vertical layout. Thereafter, we will write the designation of that person and adjust the text to 14 pixels and font width to medium. After that, we will group using auto layout by pressing shift a thereafter we also have to add a button over there so we can create the button using pen tool so like this let's set the width of this line to 12 pixels and set the stroke to 2 pixels and color to white thereafter we will add another point and we will make it to the upside to 5 points and make it rounded by 1 pixel. We will also adjust the corner using this. We can make it rounded just like this. After that we will add this into a, another frame. For that we will press Ctrl Alt G and set the height and width to 24 pixels. Thereafter we will add a stroke of white color and make it rounded by 100 so it shows the full rounded. Also we will set the stroke to 2 pixels and using shift A we can make it center just like this. So our button is ready. So we will also add another functions so that if we hover on the circle it should fade bright. For that we will duplicate this layer. So we will set the opacity to 60% just like this and let the other layer just like that. Now we will select both layer and go to the variant option. There we will select create component set. So it's become a component set. Thereafter go to the prototype section by selecting this layer and move it just like that. And I will change this while hovering. It will be changed to this when we hover on this. Now, now add this button by pressing Alt key and select this both layers and press Shift A. 
after that we will align it horizontally and also to the center after that we will make the width to fill container and set the distance between both to auto after that we will add more information about the person so we will add some other text so this is the text we have to add more 16 pixels font width to regular we will insert this just like that and also the opacity of this text is 80 percent thereafter we will also add our icons these are the icons i will be using so i will drag into this frame and set these to an auto layout adjust the gap between these two 8 pixels so our this card is also being ready now we will thereafter we will duplicate the layer twice just like that thereafter we will add our frame just like that from the left side we can see that our frame is into the image card or not so we will adjust the card into the image card just like that as we can see that and our card width is little bit wider than the image card so we will adjust our card width to 340 by pressing arrow key you can set it to bottom just like this and also copy this card to another frame and make it appear to the full card now we have completed the design for animation now we have to add prototype so select the card and go to the prototype section thereafter select and drag to the next card and set it to while hovering and smart animate thereafter you have to select this button and set it to the next frame and use on click and smart animate to go back on the first frame when we click on this we have to select again and set it to the previous frame we will also adjust our icon just like this to 180 degrees we have set our icon one more thing we have to add to go back on this card we have to select this card and go to the prototype section and set you back to the card and select mouse leave so when we leave our mouse from this frame it get back to the normal state by pressing ctrl alt enter we can see the prototype as you can see that our image card is being ready when we hold this card we can see the appearance of this and when we click on this button we can see the transition and also if we click on this button we can get back to this so thanks for watching this video i hope you like it don't forget to click on the like button and hit the subscribe button thank you